hi guys welcome back to my channel today i will do photoshop tutorial like i wanna edit or remove pimples or blemishes using photoshop tools the three main tools that i will be using in photoshop are spot healing brush patch tool and caucasian blur actually guys have many different techniques or ways in how to edit pimples or blemishes but in this tutorial I just want to use like a very shortcut way or easy techniques I don't need to go far or complicate I just want to apply the very easy techniques and of course I just want you also to teach like to know the usage of these tools and by the way guys when you edit details specifically on face you don't need to remove all the pores it is best to see the photo look naturally so you have to be careful using caucasian player or you have to check your opacity so without further ado let's get started okay guys so as you can see this image guys the the details of the pimples there are some small and big so i suggest to use first the patch tool so like this you have to like that and drag drag the you drag using the mouse so you have to circle first the area then drag the the mouse okay you can also use this spot healing brush guys this is what i this is what i said like spot healing so you can do this like that you can adjust the size if you don't like if you don't like so you can adjust the size like this spot healing brush and patch tool guys are they are all they are almost similar you just need to be careful on how to use that tools that so you need to remove first and this is the patch tool so you can do this then drag like that you have to be careful on dragging the the skin of the the subject of the details because to to avoid or to prevent blocking of the pores like this so you can adjust this to that this big spot or pimple sky so you can use like this like that just need to drag like that then the other side Even the small blackheads guys you can remove like that. I 
just want to add more. Actually guys, you can also adjust the opacity right side here. Like that. You can adjust the opacity. If it's too much, you can adjust the opacity here. Like this. Then create like new layer. That. Okay. Then this time, I want to apply the Caucasian blur. So go to filter. Drag down. Drag down the blur. Drag down to blur. Then right side, drag down Caucasian blur. That okay, so it's up to you how much you need, how much radius do you need. It depends on the details that you need to soften. So this image I want to use like, you know, you can adjust the opacity. So it's okay if you use too much radius. You can adjust the opacity after. So don't worry about it. This way I want to try even like this, guys. You can do that. Yeah, you can do like this because you can adjust the opacity so let's try like this then after you need to mask the layer by doing like this so you go down click this click this area then here this is already mask the layer and after we need to invert to apply the Caucasian blur to remove this Caucasian blur okay so press ctrl I like that then this time we need to go to brush brush tool so yeah you can do that so this time you can adjust the opacity like this Then be careful, you have to check this should be white, like that. Okay, to, to see the difference. Okay, look guys, so this is the Caucasian blur. But we don't need to do like this because this is not good. So let's go back. Okay, I want to use... So let's try 15 okay so 15 15 percent opacity then increase the brush size like this flatten the image and control J then let's double check I can see there is still a spot here there's pimples then I want to show you the pores guys you know this pores is we don't need to remove this you know you don't need to do like this I will show you like that we don't need to do like that way we don't need to do that it's it's nice to 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 remain visible the pores to you know to to look more natural So, yeah, like this. If you, if it's, this one is this, you know, distraction, then you can remove. If you think this is distraction, then you can remove. You don't need to, you know, because there is no perfect face. 
so just leave that way but I want to correct this spot guys yeah this looks distraction for me so to fix this one you can use this patch tool like that then move then you can you can remove the you know the details this area like that okay so so this is this is how the Caucasian blur works guys you can use Caucasian blur when you want to blur the background and also you can use Caucasian blur when you want to soften your skin but you need to be careful you have you have to be careful using Caucasian so like this then let's check the original see before after before and after so that's the power of caucasian blur spot healing brush and patch tool okay guys so i hope you learn from this tutorial thank you for watching and don't forget to like subscribe my channel bye bye Oh, 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 oh,